Greetings everyone, Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 3rd October 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has expressed prima facie doubts about its 2015 judgment in the case of Reserve Bank of India v. Jayanti Lal Mistri, which had held the RBI was obliged to disclose defaulters list etc. related to banks under the Right to Information Act, noting that it affects individuals' right to privacy. The court, while refusing to entertain a plea seeking a uniform civil court for India, has orally remarked that a report of Law Commission of India, which had stated that UCC was undesirable, was based on judgment which had been twice doubted by Supreme Court and hence had a shaky foundation. The court, while refusing to issue notice to states in a plea seeking policy for population control in India, has remarked that it would only issue notice to states after it is satisfied by the petition itself and not every problem has a solution under Article 32. The court has held that unreasonable and unexplained delay in passing the order of detention from the date of the proposal can vitiate the detention order and there should be live and proximate link between the grounds of detention and the purpose of detention. The court, while setting aside concurrent conviction in a murder case, has held that videography containing confession made by an accused to police under Section 161 of CRPC is not admissible as evidence. The court, while extending time for Bar Council of India to dispose of complaints against advocates received by it by 31st December, has held that complaints made by litigants are required to be disposed of at the earliest so that litigants may continue to have faith in the profession. News from the High Courts Starting with the Delhi High Court the Delhi High Court has dismissed the plea moved by Aam Aadmi Party leader Satyendra Jain challenging the transfer of proceedings against him in money laundering case from a special court to another judge recently and stated that the apprehensions of Enforcement Directorate are not unreasonable. The High Court has held that the authorities of Food Safety and Standards Authority of India have an obligation to ensure that all imported articles of food are inspected with due expedition and promptitude. News from the Calcutta High Court The Calcutta High Court has observed that the state professing to be a welfare state cannot claim to have perfected its title over a piece of land by invoking the doctrine of adverse possession to grab the property of its own citizens. The court has acquitted a man convicted by the trial court of abetting the suicide of his wife 36 years ago by inflicting cruelty upon her. The court found that the prosecution had failed to prove the charge beyond all reasonable doubt before the trial court. The court, while directing police to immediately withdraw WhatsApp messages and photographs of deceased woman with her friend that were disclosed by it under the RTI Act, has held that right to privacy also includes belief that a person should be allowed to carry their secrets to the grave. The Kerala High Court has held that the legal advice rendered by the Advocate General to the government is exempted from disclosure under Section 8, Subclause 1, Subclause E of the Right to Information Act 2005 as the relationship between the two constituted a fiduciary relationship. The Bombay High Court has held that a woman who leaves her matrimonial house before her divorce cannot later seek right to residence under the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act 2005 even if her appeal against the divorce decree is pending. That concludes the news highlights of the day. Thank you so much.